You can see another easily race car right back there. Wow. I've never seen anything like this before. What's up guys, it's Brian ESR and I'm here in Charlotte, North Carolina, driving an hour out in my rental on the way to Welcome, North Carolina. You heard that right, it's called Welcome, North Carolina. And that's where Richard Childress Racing's headquarters is. And I'm on my way to meet up Joe Graff Jr., driver of the number 21 Eat Sleep Race Chevrolet Camaro. If you guys are new to NASCAR, still learning about NASCAR, or this is your first time hearing about Richard Childress Racing, this is the same team that Dale Earnhardt and Dale Earnhardt Jr. drove for. And to put into comparison to baseball, RCR is like the Yankees. They are one of the largest, if not the largest, organization in NASCAR. Over 15 championships, over 200 races won, founded in 1969. And when I heard about the headquarters, all I thought was, when could I make it down there? Apparently this place is 17 buildings, over 400 staff members building race cars. I can't even imagine how many race cars there are there. We're about to find out today. And I got the approval to do a behind the scenes vlog. So I'm gonna be showing you guys everything that I see walk through. Hopefully we get a tour guide. Maybe it's gonna be Joe. Nice shoes, yeah. Oh, you too, Brad. <laughs> What's going on, man? Well, it only made sense, right? Because we're in North Carolina, so we got to wear the UNCs. Yeah, the UNCs. Yeah. So tell me where we're at right now. We're at Richard Childress Racing. Uh, this is the main shop, and I can't wait to show you guys around. So what I read online, there's 17 buildings, and this looks like one to me. Where's the rest of them? Uh, they're all over. There's a couple up there, a few up there, a bunch down here. So when I drove around the corner, I saw like a museum? Yeah, so there's a museum up there that I'll take you through. Um, I'll take you through the main company Xfinity shop down here. So this whole street is just all industrial buildings and you're telling me... It's all RCR. This is all RCR. This doesn't even make sense to me. Like, so what is this building right here? This is offices? This is the main shop, so I'll take you through it. This is where they... uh set up the cars every week and stuff. They have a bunch of offices in here as well. They have the simulators in here um, and the main shop floor as well. Nonstop. So actually, see I, you guys see that right down there? I think you should take us over there, Joe. All right, let's get out here. This is the Eat Sleep Race Car from Daytona that we were at. So why is it parked up here now? Is this done for the year? Yeah, this one's done for the year. We only ran into the Daytona. It's uh, right behind our personal Richmond. What? And guys, this is just the lobby. And you're telling me there's a whole shop back there? There's a whole shop right over there. Let's go see you guys, come on. And this is Kyle right here, guys. So Kyle from RCR. What's going on, guys? Kyle, what do you do? What do you do over here at RCR? I manage all of our social media and uh, create content for RCR. Got it. So, right so well, do you want to go on the fan walk first? Or you want me to take you right out of the shop floor? You tell. You tell me. Let's go fan walk. We'll do fan walk. All right. And this will circle the main shop over here. So the other three haulers aren't here now because they went to the track and that's our hauler right there. Whoa. Where we go race. Um, Hold on, let me show you guys my reaction. So down there we have the crew chief offices and the simulator when I go, go in there and this is the main shop floor here. You can see another Eat Sleep race car right back there. Wow. I've never seen anything like this before. This is awesome. Dude. Like, is there, is this comparable to a lot of teams? Do like most of the team shops look like this? Um, we definitely one of the nicest ones for sure. And this is crazy. Um, yeah, this is a fan one. You come through as a fan and walk through this and then walk back around. That's pretty wild. All right, so where are we at, Joe? What was that? Where are we at? We are at Richard Childers Racing. We're on the main shop floor right now. So what was just over there was the garage for all the haulers. And mm -hmm. now this is literally the same. This is the room where they work on all the cars. Yeah, this is the main shop floor here where they 
Like this isn't a showroom. Are, no, no. Because this looks like the cars are just on display, like a museum. It could be a showroom, but it's not. It looks like a museum, but he's telling me they actually wrench on cars here. It looks like somebody literally cleans this place while they work on the cars. They do all the time, 24-7. It looks like you get fired if you drop some up fluid up. on here. You definitely don't, but <laughs> you just gotta clean it up. So we got cup car right over here, Austin Dillon's cup car. Then behind these cars is all right. Just going a little backwards here, so you guys, you guys can see everything. Daniel Hemrick's cup cars. How many has he got over here? Looks like he's got five, four. Then you got Tyler Reddick's Xfinity cars, and then boom, you got. So tell me what's going on here. I see one, but I see a couple cars next to it that look like it. What's what's happening over here? So this is the car we just tested at Bristol. Just came back, we tested there on Monday, and these are the cars that are building right now. So these are gonna have the ESR logo on them? Yes, sir. All four of them? Mm -hmm. Trivia, how many ESR cars do you think are on Richard Childress racing team because I just learned this. The car that you just saw inside the lobby, that car wasn't even used. No, it was a backup car. It was a it. backup so car. We have, we have two Eat Sleep Race cars for every race we run. And I thought it's the same car as at every race and come to find out, it's always a different car. It's always different. And the backup cars, if they don't get used. We have, we have short track cars, we have intermediate cars, super speedway cars, all kinds of different ones. And if the backup car don't get used, it just they just shelf it. Well, it's on display over there. It's, <laughs> it's getting used. It's a museum piece. It's it's just literally a show, a huge showroom piece. Right now, yeah. So this car right here, after the next race, what happens to it? Um, well, it depends how the race goes. If we get through Bristol, like the car, don't have any damage, we we can use it again. Um, okay. But if it ends up getting wrecked or crashed, then we we can't. We gotta build another one. So. They have like 400 people here working all the time, all the time yeah. building race cars, like hundreds and hundreds of race cars. Like I thought these were all the cars here and we can't show you what's going on behind that room, but it's even bigger it's than the size of this room. And all they're doing there is cranking cars. out cars, literally everything from, from scratch. Yeah, it's, like it's, it's unbelievable. All the frames, chassis, everything's being built there body panels, you name it, even proprietary nuts and bolts, mm -hmm. because that's the reason why we can't show you a lot of what's going on here, because suspension, motor, they don't want anyone knowing what's going on with their race program, yeah, it's exactly. all proprietary. So he says there's what, different, like all types of machining back there where they're building stuff from scratch to be used on all these cars. And it's crazy, over 400 people here just I mean, you, cranking out cars. This is like a manufacturer's. It like, is. You you saw the sign when you came in. There's a carbon shop. There's an engine yeah, shop. There's a facts. Like all all kinds of like facts. They, they build everything. It's it's unbelievable. They do everything here. And I also just learned they don't just do it for their team and their cars. They actually other teams I guess buy yeah, cars they, off of them. They do sell some of their cars too. Yes. This is all new to me. I, to be honest, I thought there was one, possibly two Eat Sleep Race cars. And then he's like, nah, like those are gonna get wrapped too because they're for different races. Could I show them? Yeah, could, right. I, could I go over there? Like, this is crazy. Chevy everything. So these are all gonna be the Camaro body style. Yep. Mm -hmm. So when they changed, how long have they been running, RCR has been running this style Camaro? Um, so, Xfinity's been running it for a little while, but the Cup car they just switched. Oh, right, because it's year. by series, right? Yeah, so the Cup car just switched to the Camaro last year. Um, they switched to that body, now they're running it again this year. The Xfinity series has been running it for a little while, though. And they're not, these aren't just like shells that they're putting on top of frames. Like they're, they literally rebuild the chassis yeah. to m make them pretty similar to mm -hmm. OEM styling. Right back there, paint shop. And it's funny because Kyle earlier was saying, he's like, oh yeah, we got a paint shop and all they do is paint them. Is that gray or black? Yeah. We, like a, 
it's not even matte. Like they actually clear coat them. Yeah, they they do that and they paint the chassis as well. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So they gotta paint the chassis and do that. But everything else is wrapped. Um, they, I they can't show you guys back there, but there's a them. whole. I don't even know how many bays. There's a lot of bays back there. You should try to paint. Three times the size of this. Like yeah. It's a lot bigger than this room, and they're all they're doing is painting body panels for the race cars. It's, it's nuts. You would look at this floor. Like, I mean, I don't know if you'd want to wear those shoes around. Well, I feel like the... I feel like I we could wear these shoes around the shop. Cause oh, it's so clean. I feel time. like I wouldn't want them if I could. That's right. That's right. There's a whole room where. They've got those machines that scan the car. Yeah, so it's it, it's called it's called the Hawkeye, and they do it at Tech at the tracks too, just to scan the bodies oh, really? and make sure. Is that that people aren't inside that tent that's like yep, all blacked that's, out? That's exactly what it is. So I they, always wondered what was going on they, inside. They there. scan all the cars at the track just to make sure they're legal and nobody was doing anything with the bodies that they're not supposed to to try yeah, to get an advantage. Tech at NASCAR races is serious. Oh, I mean, yeah. Why do they put those big X's on the windows? So that's so that, um, well, the window's obviously clear without them, right? So the machine will scan right through them like it doesn't oh. have a window. So they put those things on the window so that it scans that and it can see the shape of the... Got it. Wow. I wish I could show you what the, what that room and machines look like. It's like, I, I don't, maybe I could Google it. I'll, let me see if I could Google it. I'll show you a picture. But yeah, even the size of the machine shop and what's going on back there, it's double, triple the size of what we're looking at right over here. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I wasn't kidding, they're really cleaning this place as the, the days are going by and they're working. They clean it every day. They're literally cleaning the place while they're working. That's awesome. Where are we at right now? Marketing department? Yeah, we were in the marketing department. I did my internship right over there. Right back there. From intern to driver. Some more Who does that? All right, so we're walking through right now. Just left the marketing department behind that door, and what are we in the hotel now? Well, yeah. No, this is the. Uh, he's got the banquet hall up here, and all this. A stuff banquet hall. Medicines. They got a banquet hall. Let's go check out this banquet hall. See. Why a team needs a banquet hall? Because they can. Why not? So I thought this was the banquet hall, but this is the banquet hall. It's so unnecessary. Yeah, it goes all the way back there. We have a photo studio back there too if you ever want to do a photo shoot with the cars. They bring the cars up here? Yeah. I think there's cars behind this wall actually. What? Our first question, how did they get the cars on the second floor? There is an elevator. There's an elevator for the cars. Of course, why wouldn't there be an elevator for the cars? Right up, right? They have weddings in here too? I don't doubt that. I don't know if they have, but I'm sure they can. They definitely could. All right. <laughs> this is a banquet hall. And on the other side of the wall, the banquet hall. Ah, just a couple more cars. <laughs> what? Just the kitchen's right behind here. And yeah, just throw some cars back here too. I'm curious what a car elevator looks like. Well, it just looks like a normal elevator. It's, it's just huge? It's yeah. It's this right here. All right. And just exactly what you guys would have imagined it to be. Don't ask me how to work it because I'm sure I will break it. But this is... Yeah, you should do it. I'm definitely not Yeah, yeah do, do that. Hard try pass, try hard to make pass. it work. Hard pass. <laughs> All right, no, legit car elevator. So that makes sense, I guess. They want to bring a uh, car. Well, I guess that does make sense. If they want to, they're doing like a showcase or something in the banquet hall, mm -hmm. want to bring a car up oh, yeah. to reveal it or something. You got all kinds of show cars up here. Of so I, I can't let you film in all here because right. there's simulator stuff in here. I'll show you guys but... this. What I could show you guys is this sign that says, I can't show you guys anything behind here. But Joe did say if we do like an eat, sleep, race party or something, he could bring the car upstairs. Yeah, no problem. Course. Anytime. All right, so inside the banquet hall, why wouldn't there be a gym? There's a gym, full gym. Full gym right here. Inside the banquet hall. Right well, there. Why wouldn't there be? I mean, sometimes you just gotta eat and then go work out. So yeah. Race. 
Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Full gym in the banquet hall. Yeah, they got locker rooms and stuff too. What is this right here? This is the boardroom. I had a lot of my uh, meetings in here when I was doing the internship and stuff. This is a fishy. So is Andre the Coke Series victory? Is he here all the time, Mr. Shoulders? Um, He's, he's here almost every day. Really? I think he's up in Watkins Glen right now. Really? He's, he's here right now. But he usually is. His office is right back there. So walking through here, you would not... I wouldn't think this is a race facility. Looks like a hotel lobby. This was the building we were just in. Now we and I'm more scratching my head like, why are we leaving? We're going to the museum right up here so I can show you all in that. And not to forget, all these buildings, as you can see, are part of the RCR campus. So this is, is this telling us what all the buildings are on the campus? Yes. Here we go. So we were just at the executive office. All right, so we got Richard Petty right across the street. Now we're at the RCR Racing Museum, and you were saying this is what? This is actually the uh, the old shop before he built that one, so we'll be able to walk through and see like his old office and some of the older shops. That so before he was in that huge building. Before he was in that huge building. Got so it. This is the original building here. And now it's a museum. Now it's a museum. So this whole road, basically, once you take this turn right here, this is all RCR. Yep. Sick. That's a lot of Dale Earnhardt cars. This is the one that won the Daytona 500 for the first time. They used to boo Dale Earnhardt when he was winning too much. That'll happen. 1998? 1998 was when he won the Daytona 500. The first time he won twice. That's a piece of the track. So if you're lazy and don't want to read this sign, this is the actual car that Dale Earnhardt won the Daytona 500 in, in 1998. And he raced Daytona 500 19 times and finally won it on his 20th race. And this sign right here says it came straight from the track to permanently be on display right over here. So what we were just at, the main office are regular people allowed to go in here yeah or inside so, there inside there no so they can't go down on the shop floor or anything just the fan walk that i showed you they can go on but this is open to the public if you got can. it How long ago did they move out of this shop into that big place right now? That's a good question. Um, and that's why they kept the whole holler huh? in a museum. It's like they could still be using this thing. 
but instead it's in a museum. Yeah, I gotta show you this. Stuff. Come here. So, Mr. Trigger is a big hunter, and he's got all of, like, a whole wildlife thing in here. It's really cool. He's still a hunter? The wildlife conservation. Oh, what? So not only is it a race or a race car museum, he's got a wildlife gallery. And I'm assuming he hunted all this stuff. Uh, some of it, yes, he did, but it'll tell you if he did. Like the, the polar bear, I don't, I think it died of natural. Like this one he did, this one. Oh, so if it's got his name on yeah, it, if it's got his name, he that means he hunted it. There's a big game right here, too. you imagine seeing one of these things alive? Did he do that, too? Yeah, he did. It's like his, his trophy room. Yeah, These awesome. are definitely trophies to hunters. Look at this bass up here. I was looking at this my other one. Is that real? Imagine catching that thing as a large mouth bass. So, November 1986, Texas. It was 17 pounds, 10 ounces when caught, and then Texas record at the time. And it died at 1990, in 1994 at over 20 So one of RCR's star drivers right now is Austin Dillon, right? Yeah. And now what we're looking at is Mike Dillon, who is Austin Dillon's dad. And these are all his cars right here? Um, I know this one is. You do them with Kevin Harvick. All right, that's Kevin Harvick right here. Are you the youngest driver to ever join the team, or would it be Austin? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it was Austin. Um, they're Austin and Ty Dillon. I'm sure one of the youngest. They were definitely younger than me. I don't know. But yeah, this is when he won the Coca-Cola 600. That's his Daytona 500 win car. He won the Daytona 500 last year. So this is the uh, trophy display for a. I guess whatever trophies the racers don't want to keep at their house. I guess he's, he's got a lot of them here, for sure. All these things over here too. All right, so Joe wasn't kidding. This really is where their first garage or first office was so much that Richard Chilch's first office is part of the museum like it's the original office like check out this computer right over here went from uh, looking around the museum to what, what we leave here with well uh, you got a hat right got here got the 50th anniversary new era Dale Earnhardt Sr. Funko I, cu I couldn't leave without the Funko look at this right here I got what, what Joe get? a Hall and Balls shirt for Nick Harrison. 
<laughs> so this is your, the hauler that your car goes in? So when they go to a race, two of your cars go in here? Yeah, the two cars will go up top. All right, that's gross. <laughs> All right, what's going on back here? Oh, sweet, like uh, this is like a computer cafe. Yeah, this is this is the driver lounge. Everybody. So this is uh, you guys play Call of Duty? Yeah, all the time. Is that what happens back yeah, here? Yeah, we got four Xboxes right there now. Look, got the uh, got the mounts for the laptops. They just play video games. So what do you say, first person shooters or uh, racing games while you guys are on break? Um, I don't know. What's going on in here? Oh, just get my Dude, street. you know, we get messages all the time for these things. So in NASCAR, what do they call these? They're called hero cards. Hero cards. Like, true NASCAR fans, we always get DMs like, can I get a Joe Graf hero card? And now I know this is what they're looking for. Oh, this uh, is the uh, this is the official tissue right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Um, the other suits are at the dry cleaners right now, the ones from Monday. But... This is official. Oh, yeah. Heat sleep race, RCR Xfinity is... suit. Woo! And this is this is the real deal right here, guys. Oh yeah. Fiftieth anniversary. Dude, this is a, a collector's item right here. I think it might be. <laughs> hey, you got how many of them? Uh, I think we got three or four. We got two in there, but some are at the dry cleaners right now. Woo! Man, that is sick. So this is the second floor of the hauler. They'll bring the race car and the backup race car both on the second level. Got my helmet. Same helmet every race? Oh uh, yeah. Some people get new helmets all the time. This this is just a little that's like, I've used. That's like your thing though. Yeah. You, you like want to use that helmet. Love my helmet. So sick.